Hello friends, today let's solve alien dictionary problem. There is a new alien language which uses the Latin alphabet. However, the older among letters are unknown to you. You receive a list of non-empty words from the dictionary, where words are sorted lexicographically by the rules of this new language. Derive the order of letters in this language. Let's see this example. If we are given these five words, we will return W-E-R-T-F. What does that mean? Let's see. Let's first uh, think about in a normal dictionary. How do we decide the order of words? A-Z-D and uh, Z-A-D. Imagine if these two are words. What is the order of these two words? In normal order, we know AZD is before ZAD because A comes first than Z. So this word should come first before this word. So how do we decide which word comes first? We know that we will compare the first different char character. That means even if after this A we have Z, but after this Z we have A, it doesn't matter. We just need to know the first different characters of these two words. Exactly the same thing. So in this alien dictionary, we will also decide the order of these two words by the first different characters in these two words. For these two words, we know that T comes from, uh, comes before F, because WRT and WRF, uh, these two characters are the first different uh, characters. So from these two words, we can know that T is before F, and for these two words, we know W comes before E, because. This word comes before this word, and uh, these two characters are the first char different characters. So W is before E. And for these two words, we know R is before T. And for these two words, we know E is before R. So we get this uh, four relation. And finally, we can generate the ordering, which is W, E, R, T, F. So this is the order in the alien dictionary. So actually the whole point is try to get the relation of two words and just compare the first different characters. Okay. So, act so basically how to represent the order or the relationship of two characters. Actually, we can use a graph to represent the relationship. <clears throat> if A is before B, we can use an edge start from A and pointing to B to represent this relationship. Actually, this is a directed edge. And now we know we can use graph, but how do we get the final order? Actually, this is a topological sorting, if you are familiar with this uh, uh, you know, this definition. A topological ordering is possible if and only if the graph have no directed circles. Actually, in this problem, we may not have a valid order. Like, uh, this two order means Z comes before X, and this two order means X comes before Z. So they are, uh, we cannot make it, so we just return empty string. Exactly the same thing in the topological sorting. That means actually they have a cycle, so we cannot generate an ordering. So the next thing is just get the topological sort of all letters to generate the final result. Wrap up. First thing is to build a graph using the given words. And uh, secondly, to do the topological sorting, try to generate a final result. Okay. If you 
um, not familiar with the topologic sorting, you can refer my uh, previous video. And now we assume you are familiar with topological sorting and now we will write the code. One important thing in the topologic sorting, we will need a in degree array. In this problem, we only have the lower case letters, so we know the size is 26. And we are given the words, that's a string array, but we need to build a graph so we can use uh, the agent adjacency list. So we use the map. The key is a character, ACT, and uh, the value is a set of characters. That means a uh, point is neighbor nodes. Actually, the key is points to the set of characters. This, this represents a directed graph, a new hash map. We will first do the build graph function, and finally we will return a BFS, actually the topologic sort, and the graph, and the in degree. Okay, let's write the build graph function, map character and the character, C-H-A-R-A-C, G, and the string words. We also will pass this in degree. For every string, for every word in the words, we will first add this character into the map. So for every char in the word, two char array, we'll put if absent, C, and the new hash set. Then we will try to get the in degree of each character, actually the node in the graph. So if I I start from one, I less than word star length I plus plus. We can only get the order by at least two words. So we need the two words. The first word is the words I minus one, and the, the second word is the words I. And for these two words, we can only, you know, the we will use the minimum length of these two words. So the length will be the mass minimum first dot length and uh, the second dot length. We will see whether they have the different uh, characters, j less than length j plus plus. If first char at j not equal to second char at j, we know the out node will be the first char at j, and that will be in in node char at j. We'll see whether we have added this relation to the graph. If uh, G get out do not contains this in, we should uh, add the in to the uh, outer set. And uh, at the same time, the in degree in minus A should uh, increment by one. Uh, this is because the, you know, the ASCII code, the lower case, they have 26 characters and uh, the, we use the offset to represent uh, each characters. You know, the, if A means zero and B will means one, they are offset to represent the characters. So we minus A's ASCII code. Okay, so if uh, they are once we have a different uh, character, we will break because we do not need to compare the next, the following characters. Okay, this is the build graph part. We fill these parameters, G and the words. 
and the in degree. Now let's write the BFS part. Actually, the topological sorting BFS. We pass this graph and the CTR in degree. We will try to generate the string. So we will use a string builder. We know the total charts because we may not generate a valid ordering. So we will compare their size, G size, right? It's the total nodes in the graph. And we will use a cube. There will be cube. Uh, and uh, list. And then we will add all the nodes that their in degree are zero. So for char C in the G key set, if uh, in degree C minus A equal to zero, SB will append uh, this C and the Q of uh, C. So we already add uh, all the nodes that have in degree zero. And then we do the standard BFS. If the queue is not empty, we get the you know the neighbor node. So that means um, you know the current current node will be Q pool. And if G gets the current node not equal to now. They have neighbor node, that means, and G get uh, the curve dot size greater than zero. Uh, no. Okay, we can just continue if we get curve equal to none, or we get curve dot size equal to zero. We continue because they may do not, they may have no neighbor nodes. In case of the non-pointer arrow, and the full char neighbor of this G get current node, we should uh, decrement this uh, in degree by one. So that will be neighbor minus A minus minus. And if currently the in degree of the neighbor minus A is zero, that means we can offer that to the Q. So Q will offer this neighbor. And the SB append this neighbor. Finally, we will see whether this SB dot length equal to the SB dot length equal to the total charts. Sorry, total charts. If equal to total charts, we get a valid uh, ordering. Otherwise, we just return empty string. Okay. Um, what's the carry A R A C T R? Sorry, T R. Mm -hmm. String or dynamic total charts. Oh, sorry. Two string. Run answer. What does that mean? Mm. Let's check what's wrong. Degree and uh, this is a graph, right? So let's build a graph. Put if f the c new hash set to chart, right? No, it's correct. So the words mm, first, second. The mean first, yes, correct. For not equal to second char is zero. Not equal to out is oh sorry, this is a second. Thank you for watching. See you next time.